We were sitting there and it was my turn to get my feet washed. And I remember being so extremely humble. I think at that moment I really understood what it meant to think lower of myself and think higher of another individual. It's a place where you come together in servitude of man. The leaders would wash the feet of the newcomers so that way the next group that came in, those people would then get a chance to wash the feet of the new people so they would learn how that, you know, the responsibility of shepherding and the responsibility of now that I have the word, I have to give the word. We're on five college campuses and we're in three states. And we're number wise, we're about maybe 120 maybe, you know, somewhere, that, including people who have graduated and moved on, they're still connected. I came into college looking for a group that I could affiliate myself with that was looking to live for God without compromise. And that's exactly what they were striving to do. We were trying to show them that once now that they're a part of the ministry and when they step back you know, on campus, that they're ambassador for Christ now, that they are um, a servant to, to mankind. No one in there, would, nobody would, would leave out of there without tears. I think when it really hit me that this was just, I knew it was God. This big, tough guy, I mean, used to sell drugs. He was getting his feet washed and he broke down crying. That was the breaking moment when something in him really broke. You know, we were teaching him Bible studies like something was not connecting. But when he got his feet washed, you know, It's just really something that's that's sacred to to our faith and who we serve and who we love. And um, they were the foot washing became something that's very very that uh, we saw the change actually happen in those souls. I thought it was a joke. I thought I really did thought it was a joke. I was like, are you serious? Like, oh no, I went through five minutes of just like, stop kidding. Like, you're just, you're making a joke, you know? And he was looking very serious, like this is not a joke. So he got up, got the, his boss over him. The other vice president came in, they looked real serious. And I said, oh my God, you guys are serious. And now it's indefinite. You can never, ever, ever do anything ever again. And I was like, well, is there anything I could do about this? Um, he said there was nothing I could do. And he just kept saying, you have due process. You have due process. And I kept saying, what is due process? What we went through was pivotal for who God had called us to be. And if not for the support that had been given, we wouldn't have had the courage to go through what we went through. That allowed us to be who we are today, sitting here, you know, knowing who God is and, and, and telling somebody else that you can fight for who God called you to be. And that, that kind of support is priceless. Everybody at ADF, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, like, you are really honestly God's angels. You really are. And you are support to every person who has to be persecuted for God's namesake. 